Now, there have been theories upon theories upon theories. Is Patrick Starr a psychopath? Is he faking his idiocy to get by? Or perhaps to make others go insane? It's something that everyone who's ever watched the show has likely considered, especially because of his random bursts of intelligence. Back in July 2016, at the end of my Plankton video, I told you all that I would eventually return to prove why Patrick is a psycho. Since then, many theories have cropped up, but truly, what is the realism in this idea? What is Patrick Starr going for? Is he legitimately unintelligent, or is he a master manipulator out to psychologically destroy everyone? Today, in honor of the single most creepy day of the entire year, I'm going to meticulously dismantle multiple instances in which he breaks from his farce in order to pinpoint exactly what his motives truly are. But perhaps he isn't actually evil. Maybe there's another reason. Don't believe me? Think it's all just an inconsistent children's show? Follow me down this insane psychological trip and there's a slight chance I'll have you convinced. Hello, I'm the Theorizer, and Mr. Star has been demonstrating his psychopathy since the beginning. The very beginning. His antics with Spongebob never cease. Spongebob is clearly childish. He has very little maturity and acts nothing like an adult. We see his brain on occasion, and some, including Loki myself, have even gone to theorize that in the episode where Spongebob throws out his brain's files, that's the moment when the entire series shifts and he goes extremely dumb. We've seen his brain in other scenarios since then, and it's since fallen to an apocalyptic state of ruin. It has kept him blissfully ignorant and stupid. Patrick, on the other hand, he's always been a bit off. In the episode known as Patrick Smart Pants, we get a pretty good clue as to what may be going on with him. His brain is metaphorically shown to be unplugged until the top of his head falls off and SpongeBob accidentally replaces it with brain coral, which plugs him in and gets his gears working. Although a metaphor, his brain is shown to have cobwebs all over it, implying that it was once very active, but that it hasn't been used in a long while. And when his brain reactivates, we get a massive glimpse at what may just be Patrick's original self. Throughout the remainder of the episode, we see him taunt Sandy and Squidward, accusing them of being lower-functioning life forms, despite the fact that starfish are known to have no brain, and squids are some of the most intelligent of the deep-sea kind. Squirrels, too, are very methodical and smart. Seriously. Though while starfish have no real brain, they do have a circular nervous system around themselves. And something else that's cool, which you most likely already knew, is that some starfish can regenerate. Some can asexually reproduce when fragmented, and because of the way in which they don't have really a brain, in certain cases the detached limb will not only grow back but create a whole other starfish as well. Now, this is all extremely complicated stuff, but luckily all we need is this one piece of sort of common knowledge because it's all the creators would use. They wouldn't study in depth about the inner mechanisms of a starfish, all they would do is make a joke about how some starfish multiply, because it's nearly common knowledge. I swear, I saw him duplicate in an episode, but I, I can't remember which one. If you guys know it, please tell me. Maybe it's just my nostalgia, or maybe false memory, I don't know. But what my point is here is that there is a good chance Patrick has the ability to multiply based sheerly off of how the creators have written Patrick. I mean, clearly they took into account the well-known fact that starfish don't have brains, so it's obvious where they tend to lean with all of this. And why is this so crucial to his smarts and villainy? Well, because I have an extremely complicated thought that is very likely untrue, but oh god, I so badly want to share it with you guys because it is so cool. Patrick's mind is as he puts it, an enigmatically unfathomable mess of machinations. In the episode known as The Secret Box, that's what Patrick is trying to say. After Spongebob asks what's in Patrick's mysterious box, Patrick's personality outright changes, and he begins to go entranced with huge words he never 
ever usually says. His whole mood shifts ever so slightly. This is all done for comedic effect, and I literally burst out laughing the first time I watched this, but now I'm looking at it closer. After he denies Spongebob entrance to his box, he says that Spongebob is an open book, and he tells him that he isn't worthy to know the box's contents. And then he says the inner machinations of his mind are enigmatic, while he thinks about milk spilling. So is this his true smartness, perhaps, seeping through somehow? Keep in mind that this all takes place long before the Brain Coral episode, so what is going on? At the end of the episode, Patrick reveals to Spongebob that the only thing inside of the box is a secret string. Spongebob laughs and leaves, then Patrick mischievously laughs for a solid 9 seconds as dark and malicious music plays. Patrick then reveals to the audience that the string is actually something that pulls open a literal secret compartment revealing an embarrassing image of Spongebob at a Christmas party. Hmm, the inner machinations of his mind? Does he know that machinations are dark and shifty schemes? He knows that, right? And he's referring to himself in general, not this single instance. And then he thinks of spilled milk, so is Patrick out of his mind? Is he faking? Is his true intelligence seeping through? I don't quite think so. However, this is but one of several occasions in which something smart bursts out. Even briefly in the episode where they do a bunch of painting, Patrick says that they must stop acting like cavemen. He then maturely says, we have technology, before pausing and then going totally nuts on the computer. It's obviously just the way they've written Patrick and its comedic genius, but the repercussions this has on him as a legitimate character are staggering, and this isn't all. Like I said in my Plankton video, this show has vicious inconsistencies. Plankton's goal is constantly changing. This is similar to Patrick. This of course could be because Spongebob Squarepants has no grander plot arc, but these consistencies are very easy to keep continued, and there's no reason to break them like they constantly do. In certain moments, Patrick can do things easily, and in others, he can't do them at all. A good example is with reading. Sometimes he can do it quickly and easily, and other times he seriously struggles for no reason at all. And then there's the fact that he can wire his house so that a sand TV works somehow. Something does not make sense. He seems to have some kind of mental power and he does unnatural things, all in the name of slapstick and comedy, but he still does do them. So how am I to explain this under the concept of Spongebob lore? Either I can't, or I can continue with something terrifyingly senseless, something that simultaneously seems so out there, but also makes some levels of sense. Patrick Starr is not evil, not at all. His intelligence just rapidly shifts. His personality just rapidly shifts. Like some very strange, very rare, unique variation on an identity disorder of some sort. Formerly known as multiple personality disorder, dissociative identity disorder is quite likely to have some level of play in this. A variation where the shift in personality is instant or very slightly delayed all in the name of Patrick's own sense of comedy, triggered by much else than his will to entertain his friends, a variation in which memory gaps are practically non-existent, unlike the real MPD. We know this because of how Patrick lost no memories during the Brain Coral episode. So what do I have to prove my suspicions? Well, first of all, Brain Coral is a real thing, though it looks near nothing like the show displays it, and it obviously can't make you smarter even if you are a starfish. But in SpongeBob, it clearly activated an extremely dormant personality that may even be the original host of Patrick. But there's way more than that. I don't think Patrick has just two or maybe three personalities. I think he has hundreds, dozens of identities that we have no idea he's switching between as we watch him. Not even Patrick is aware of this shift. His personality changes in a very distinct way, however. The smarter the version of Patrick, the more arrogant and unfunny 
The dumber, the more kind and hilarious. Each personality is extremely similar to the last, changing ever so slightly as they escalate from an IQ of zero to an IQ of what we see in the Brain Coral episode, which is... Oh god, levels Einstein easily reached, probably topping around 160 or maybe even 170. And if we haven't seen all of Patrick yet, then there's a chance that he could keep going. The highest recorded IQ maxed out at 300. So, if Patrick were put into such a situation, we could be looking at a maximum of 300 different split personalities inside of his head, keeping him constantly dumbfounded, confused, and grounded at the lower end of his spectrum unless the situation pushes him higher. It all depends on how he wants to set the tone of quality. And based off of the fact that he was unplugged, we can assume that the Patrick with an IQ of 165 is the original Patrick, the one that grew up until some sort of traumatic incident caused his natural starfish instincts to kick in, the ones that split him. However, since we know all of the splitting is happening in his brain, therein lies the possibility that every time his plug falls out, a new personality is created. And there's even a slim chance that he literally does have hundreds of smaller brains in his head if it is in fact correct that he physically splits too, like starfish do. Though it's far more likely that he's just splitting his mentality across dozens of intelligence quotients he could have. If unrestricted by reality, Patrick could very well have infinite people in his mind. Depending on how many times his brain has unplugged over the course of his lifetime, each time it does so, it cognitively kills him. And in death, like all starfish, it duplicates him. As we see, he may originally be a smart fish, but one cognitive arrest occurred and he sat for years and still today as primarily a dar fish. Now this could all be a genetic case of severe Huntington's which is slowly dragging him down, but it's most likely to be as I said it is. That of course is referring to my theory, which as a whole, I don't really believe. I'm just laying out the evidence and providing a semi-conclusion to what I think this star could really be doing to explain it using actual logic that the TV series really doesn't have. I don't really think this theory probably isn't the case, but I want to push it. I don't believe any of it, though Friday the 13th is worthy of something this eerie. I hope it gives you more insight. I do think something is up with Patrick, not something evil, just something mentally wrong with him. I mean, we see other starfish in this series who are totally smart, Patrick's just a dummy most of the time. So here's the best character analysis I could do with what I have to work with. Patrick's simply confused and out of his mind. Once again, this show proves that it's a cesspool of insanity. All of the characters are based off of the seven deadly sins, and that is no coincidence. So what do you think? Is Patrick insane but not evil? I mean, sure, he snaps and freaks out and is frequently randomly rude and mean, but those are all branches of his personalities and is commonly attributed with the frustration of having mental disorders. There's also a strong chance he has emotional disorders and some neurodegenerative disorders if you do in fact realistically look at his character. You have to consider other things too, like the big point I've seen dozens of people use to prove he's a psycho. They watched the episode known as The Card, in which Patrick says that his intelligence varies and that they'll never know just how smart he truly is, as he likes to mix it up. He literally says that. What? So, I, I was right? There are even a couple times, one which I remember, where Squidward asks Patrick how dumb he is, and Patrick tells him that it changes. That it depends. It's variable depending on... On what? I don't know, but there are dozens of episodes I didn't cover when formulating this theory. There's even an episode where Patrick says dumb people are blissfully ignorant to how dumb they really are. A smart statement he says right before he totally zones out as he degrades to a stupider intelligence. So you guys, the comment section, you guys always provide the slickest, most strangely convincing pieces of evidence even for an outlandish theory like this one. But if you can in fact find something else, this may actually be very realistic. If you can highlight even more times he says smart things, that'll do. I can't keep going here, I'm getting dizzy. Until next time, I'm the Theorizer. <laughs>